Hi, welcome to Marine Max Houston. My name is Skip Pillsbury. I take you on a tour of our 2020 Boston Whaler 42 Outrage. This boat's powered by Quad Mercury 400 Verados with a joystick piloting control. It gives you nice, easy access around the marina and uh, a couple other really nice features when you're out offshore fishing. Located here in the transom as well, we've got our inlets for our freshwater and our freshwater engine flush. So at the push of a button, set up right here and the water line is going to run down through each engine flushing out getting all that salt and uh, bad water out of the motors keep them nice and clean for storage kind of work our way into the cockpit We've got a nice big enormous cockpit covered by a retractable sure shade awning over here so if you want to hide out from the sun makes it really nice and comfortable especially when you're out here fishing lots of rod holders in the transom for uh, trolling storage things like that uh, we do have two large fish boxes down here on the floor both of these have freezer plates so you can climate control these boxes uh, they are insulated as well but it'll keep your ice you know frozen keep your fish fresh things like that easy access into the bilge area so all the systems are going to be here in the mechanical room underneath the hatch you'll see two nice really large teak tables that set up right here on the top side of the lid We've got easy access to all of our pumps, strainers, generator, uh, batteries, things like that. This boat is equipped with a Sea Keeper gyro stabilizer as well, which is located right up underneath here. So it will give this boat close to a 90% roll reduction uh, when you're out there in the rough seas. So everybody's nice and comfortable on the boat. Located back here, we've got a fold-out transom seat, which our dive ladder is uh, stored underneath here as well, which will tie into... The dive door are located here on the, the port side. But lots of nice seating back here, easy, nice cruising. You can seat you know, four, three or four people across the back seat here. Then we do also have another fold-out seat here on the starboard side too. So a nice, easy area, especially with the table set up. Makes it you know, great for entertaining and, and things like that. Located here on the back side of the leaning post, we've got two pull-out refrigerators. Located okay, on the port and starboard side, lots of extra storage drawers, things like that for uh, tackle and gear. And then located underneath here, we've got our bait prep area. We do also have a grill located here, a uh, place for hanging leaders, tools, paper towels, freshwater sink, more drink holders. And then we've got some more controls for our uh, pumps, like our freshwater uh, wash down, raw water wash down, live well, things like that. The live well is going to be located back here in the port side corner. So nice and easy for rigging baits, things like that. You just pitch them off to the side when you get ready to start fishing. We've got a big, nice, easy door here. Easy access for dragging that big fish on board, getting in and out of the water, whether you're on the beach or sandbar, or easy access at the marina. We'll kind of work our way back up here. On the front side of the leaning post, we've got a big bench seat. One hand operation sets up right on top of the uh, bait prep area. And then you've got seating for another three or four people here. Nice, easy footrest. There are conditioning vents located here too. So makes it really nice and nice and comfortable. And then on the uh, port and starboard side of the uh, leaning post here too, we've got our helm seats that will swivel around. So whether you're watching lines or hanging out, entertaining and things like that. Um, you know, a lot of different ways to set up the boat, whether you're fishing, cruising, entertaining, you know, just spending an awesome day out on them. Down here on the port and starboard side of the floor, we've got an extra cooler space. So you can really pack this boat up for a long weekend or a couple days out on the water. Now on the bottom side of the hardtop here, this boat does have a full enclosure for the helm area. So you can enclose this uh, all the way around, get out of the weather, storage, things like that. Up here on the dash, we've got three 16-inch uh, Raymarine displays. These are all integrated together. Makes it really nice and easy to operate the boat, which you can see this boat does have FLIR uh, thermal camera on here, which at the touch of a screen, you can pan and tilt. We've got total control, makes it really nice and easy for out running at night. Flip of the home switch here, we got our audio system on here, which we run the stereo system, things like that. And then um, just kind of run back through chart plotter. If you want multi displays up, 
we've got access to this here. We've got our dashboard, which will give us all of our engine data, information, things like that. And then also all of our switching on the boat, uh, which you can see back here. We've got our uh, fuel levels, fresh water level, waste, things like that. And then we've got touch of a button here. We can turn on all of our lights, pumps, things like that. Uh, makes it really nice and easy to run all this. And you do actually have an iPad on board that from sitting anywhere on the boat, you can operate all these systems as well. Uh, this boat does also have radar. And then we've got our fish finder over here, which we can run on any of these displays here. So we've got our traditional view here. We can go in here. We've got our down vision, which will give us more of like a 3D type, type view on here. Gonna let that catch up a little bit. And then oops. go back in here too. And then we've got our side vision which we can actually look at to the sides, which is really cool. Uh, get out, if you're working on a wreck or a platform, things like that, you can pretty much look right into it and see what kind of fish are down there. And we do also have our uh, chirp uh, transducer as well. We've got the Mer Mercury vessel view located here below the Ray Marine displays, which this will give us all of our functions for our engine data, things like that. Uh, it does also give us a backup chart plotter on here. And then uh, here on the control, we've got all four engines running off of two controls. Neat thing about the Mercury system on here too, we can go into a one lever setup as we're running the boat, take this throttle, drop it forward, get it out of the way, and then you've got all four motors running off of one control. You can run your trim, uh, things like that, just right in the palm of your hand. This boat is also equipped with a Mercury theft deterrent system. So this is your fob here, pull this out of the boat when you leave. You don't have to worry about anybody taking off with it. It'll minimize RPMs and performance on the boat. Um, the 42 Outrage is also equipped with the Boston Whaler Whaler Watch. So from your home, office, anywhere in the world, you can sit and monitor the boat. It'll have a geofence around it. Uh, you can see where, exactly where the boat's at at all times. Uh, if, if you have a captain out running the boat, taking it somewhere else or service picking it up, you can sit there and monitor how fast the boat's operating and you know exactly where your boat is at all times. VHF radio as well. And then uh, we've got our joystick control over here, which will give us our 360 degree movement with the boat. So pretty much with palm of your hand, you can take this boat and move it any direction that you want. We've also got our Mercury Skyhook option on here, which is a virtual anchor. So if you get over a wreck or waiting for a bridge or anything like that, touch of a button, the engines are going to sit and hold you in place and keep you from uh, drifting and, and moving around. We've also got integrated autopilot in this uh, for your headings and, and your routes. The boat's also equipped with a remote spotlight up on the hardtop. So you've got all your controls here. So when you're running the boat, everything is basically at your fingertips from electronics, operations, things like that. It's really a... Uh, Easy, easy boat to operate, especially one or two people on board, or if you have 15, 20, you know, when you're at the helm, you've got total control over everything. We'll kind of work our way forward. One thing you'll notice on this boat, there are speakers everywhere. It's got a concert-worthy stereo, JL Audio stereo system on here. Plenty of power to really make, uh, make a great day out on the water. We do also have big, wide walkways as we move up towards the bow of the boat and pick up some extra storage going down both sides you know for extra place for life jackets stock lines things like that big open area up here in the bow awesome place for entertaining we've got flip up backrest for the chase style lounge here big sun pad up here on the in front of the hel or the console flip up armrest things like that and then uh, we've even got a flip up backrest here too for out hanging out entertaining and, and things like that Extra cooler located on the front side. So if you don't want to go back and forth for drinks and things like that, it makes it really nice and easy here. And then we'll actually pick up a decent amount of storage underneath here too. You'll notice the sunshade located under the sun pad here. So this will actually attach to the front of the T-top and cover this whole area. So if everybody wants to get out of the sun and, and stay nice and cool, it makes it really nice and, and comfortable while you're out there on the water. And then we'll, actually, we'll pick up some more storage underneath port and starboard side forward uh, for gear things like that and we've got uh, 
more storage located down here on the floor too. These are insulated coolers, so you can pack these full of fish, ice, things like that. More stereo controls over here, so whether you're at the helm or the back of the boat, you've got uh, control over everything, uh, bow or stern. The nice layout of the hardtop up on top, you see the spotlight, the radar, satellite TV, and then the FLIR up on top. It is a non-skid surface up on the top. They've got ladder, ladder bars on either side, so it's really nice and easy for getting up on top. And whether you're spotting for fish or adding more gear, things like that makes it really nice and easy. I'll make your way down in the cabin, which there's a abundant amount of uh, seating and sleeping arrangements down here too. Table of leaf will fold up here. Table drops down, cushions fill in, so you've got room to sleep, three or four adults down here. This side here will actually slide out, make a big uh, sun lounge. And then on the back side, here just get some extra leg room. Backrest pops up, and then you've actually you either have more storage or leg room going forward. This is the iPad that runs all the systems on the boat. So we can flip through our lights, pumps, things like that all right in the palm of our hand. Lots of air conditioning down here. Also reverse cycle heat. Nice little kitchenette area. Pull out refrigerator. We've got our fresh water sink, TV, and then uh, microwave. So you can kind of pre prep and prepare and really makes it nice and easy for spending a lot of time on the boat. We've got a nice stand up head compartment, rain shower, Faucet coming out of the ceiling, hot and cold water. Nice big area for uh, getting cleaned back up at the end of the day. Thank you again for taking a tour of our 2020 Boston Whaler 42 Outrage.